If you feel down and you're under the weather, have another drink and you feel all right. It's Jimmy Santangelo. That's who we have here. He is... Uh, Morning. Pro- Hi, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, you know, Jimmy, it's... Uh, I was thinking... Uh, Jimmy, by the way, is the proprietor... Uh, the impresario of the uh, Wine Academy of Utah. You can find all of his stuff at wineacademyofutah.org, or dot, dot com. Dot com. And, uh, Jim, Jim and this, you, this we, is a sponsored feature that I need to read before we dive okay. in with Jimmy. It's okay. brought to you by Svedka All Natural Cucumber Lime Flavored Vodka. And we'll get to that in a minute, too. Svedka. Mm. Um, uh, I wanted to uh, say, Jimmy, we have been calling you for a number of years, Jimmy the Wine Guy, uh, because yes. we kind of met you as a wine sommelier and all of that. Mm-hmm. But you, you talk you talk about all kinds of spirits and uh, oh, and I things. talk about all kinds of stuff. Uh, and <laughs> what I'm what I'm good at <laughs> is uh, you're right. Are the spirits, uh, wine, uh, even cigar service, uh, and sake. So that's kind oh. of uh, what we focus on at the Wine Academy of Utah. Well, that's a pretty long title, so maybe you should just be Jimmy. <laughs> you should just be Jimmy, the wine, spirits, and cigar guy. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, <laughs> Jimmy the wine. We'll up, wine. <laughs> sure. Yeah. The booze yeah. guy. <laughs> Jimmy the booze guy. Yeah. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy the booze guy. So uh, let's. You want to dive right into this uh, Svedka? You know, I do. The These last couple of days, weeks, I just wanted something refreshing to feature with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted something delicious, easy on the palate, no mm-hmm. offensiveness. And, man, this vodka by Svetka, which is a wheat-based vodka. So when you make vodka, you can use rye, grain, you can use potato. These are the materials that you ferment and then ultimately distill to create your, your vodka. Now, vodka is typically not that characterful, uh, say like a gin right. where you got the juniper coming out or a whiskey when you have some of those mm-hmm. brown spicy notes coming out. Vodka is kind of like alcohol right? But when yeah. you make it with wheat or with potato, it gets a little creamier on the palate. And I've had Svetka neat, uh, just it's uh, uh, straight up vodka. And all of a sudden, when you start infusing and folding in flavors such as cucumber and lime, oh my gosh, that broadness in that it's almost like the lime becomes a little sweeter and richer on the palate, as well as the cucumber in particular. This mm-hmm. is like a spicy cucumber Ooh. water almost, this Ooh. vodka. I don't know if you had a chance to taste it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it right now. I had some last night because I didn't want to get drunk on the on the morning. And I, I made the cocktail with uh, with the Svedka cucumber lime vodka okay. and uh, ginger ale. And it was mm. very, very tasty, very good. Mm-hmm. F- mm-hmm. Refreshing, you might say. And it's this is dangerously flavor. good. <laughs> yeah, and the, the what, thing, what are the proportions of uh, the, this uh, ginger ale? You know, and you could do a two to one. Uh, what? Uh, so, if you're pouring it there now, yeah. uh, Gene, if you were to do say an ounce, do three ounces of, uh, or, or start with two, because this is very, very soft, easy drinking, smooth stuff. So, I don't want to overwhelm it with the right. uh, Fever Tree ginger ginger ale. <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, I tasted this when I first had it neat. That's how you assess it just to see what it's like on its own. I was like, mm-hmm. Ooh, that's much smoother and creamer than I anticipated. Mm-hmm. Then I threw it on the rocks or actually just added a splash of water and it really opened it up. Some of the mm. Jimmy, peel. Jimmy, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> you, you cut out there. Oh, sorry about that. And then, um, I tried it with just a splash or two of the ginger ale and uh, I felt it was uh, very flavorful all three different ways, but but uh, great packaging and easy drinking. Your regular Moscow Mule is just straight ahead vodka, but but mm. this this cucumber lime really kind of makes it a little bit more special. You know what it would you know? be good with Jimmy is uh, to- just Topo Chico, just a mineral water kind of thing as well. Yeah, you could do that. Really cold and nice. Um, are you still there, Jimmy? I have the feeling I am. Oh, okay. there you are. Can you hear uh, me here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I'm so generally I, against flavored vodkas, but this one I think I can make an exception. So, and I don't like flavored gins. I just want my gin to taste like a Christmas tree. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I'm fine. With, I like the flavored vodkas. Uh, let me ask you. I, when you dropped this off, and I was in a hurry and cooking dinner, and uh, but I said, do, do you, should I put this in the refrigerator? And you said, no. Don't put no. the vodka in the refrigerator. And I know a lot of people put their gin and their vodkas I do uh, in, the freezer. In, in the freezer. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, do do you recommend that? Um, you know, the purpose, I don't recommend that, but the purpose of putting spirits, whether it's vodka or gin, tequila, in the freezer is because when you pull it out, it's so cold mm-hmm. that it mutes some of those harsher flavors and it makes it easier to drink. Mm-hmm. So in, in that kind of, if that's your point, then I guess you're doing a great job with it. But <laughs> as a spirits so. professional, you don't necessarily need to do that. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. A I spirits professional. That. See what he just called mm-hmm. himself there. A there spirits is. professional. <laughs> Jimmy, the spirits <laughs> professional. <laughs> so, Jimmy, what's, what else is going on at, uh, at the, um, Wine Academy. Uh, Wine Academy. You know, the Wine Academy, uh, we're doing a lot of things. The virtual tastings have maintained. We saw a big uptick in uh, online tastings where we conduct uh, virtual tasting. Whether you're here in Utah, we direct you to what uh, uh, wines or if we're making a cocktail, uh, what ingredients, what items to get. And then we conduct it over the Zoom or whatever the preferred online platform is. But we're also doing it when people all over the country out of town. And this is when I have an opportunity to mail from a third-party person who's outside a company like Wine.com or Total Wine. We mail the wines right to your door. Wow. Um, so if you're a company and you got clients that are in another state, this is a great client retention or staff team building exercise that we can help you at the Wine Academy. Uh, at the Wine Academy, no mm-hmm. problem. Uh, can I ask you another question uh, about sure. uh, bourbon? Uh, yeah. The, because there's a story today in the news, 1,900 bottles of Pappy Van Winkle bourbon up for sale in a Pennsylvania lottery. And Pappy Van Winkle right. bourbon going from anywhere from, it says, $89, $90 a bottle to $400 a bottle. Uh, Pappy Van Winkle has this reputation. Is it warranted, do you think? It, it's an arguable warrant. Uh, what we do is... It has this lore. They had a theft. They had a fire. So you have limited supply. Um, other people say, I don't care how much supply you got. Um, it's not, it, it's the best whiskey you got. Or others say, eh, it's okay because there's a lot of whiskey out there. There's a lot yeah. of competition out <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So, and again, it's it's like art. It all depends on your taste. I mean, you know, so it's the Patty yeah. Van Winkle. If that's what you know get you there, then, mm-hmm. then get some. I mean, I I just got some Japanese whiskey, some Suntory that is just wonderful that i just love mm. uh so anyway let's go back to the svedka the vodka cucumber lime this is readily available mm-hmm. at the liquor store yes readily available and if you notice the packing the packaging i'll leave you with this it's opaque so it's this wrapped bottle but if you turn the bottle over and look down towards the base of it you'll see a little window there yeah. um and you can see when you're getting low on it so i love that oh i, oh, I see <laughs> i'm showing you that at uh, x96.com slash live it's yeah because that is one of the things that's a pain in the ass about wrapped bottles you don't it's know handy. when you're running out that's great you don't know bill, what's going on yeah bill you're always running out that's well your... as you can see i don't recommend it but you know you can drink this right out of the bottle <laughs> <laughs> It is that smooth. You're absolutely right. It, it, no, it, it is. It's, it's a great infused vodka. And I'll be honest, I'll put it out there. I was surprised at how flavorful, how well yeah. integrated, and how well smooth this product was. Like I, I, said, I really give yeah. it an A-plus. It's fantastic. I, I totally agree with you. I'm, uh, again, not in the flavored vodka camp, but this the, I'm making an exception for this one. It's Svedka Cucumber Lime Vodka. Uh, right. Make sure you go to Jimmy's uh, uh, website, wineacademyofutah.com. Uh, always a pleasure, Mr. Santangelo. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll be doing an Ask Jimmy feature coming up soon. So uh, if you want to send your emails to uh, Radio from Hell at x96.com, just put in the subject line question for Jimmy the Wine Guy or uh, Jimmy the Wine, uh, whatever you, however you want to put it in there. Spirits just let us know. It's, <laughs> it's spirits professional. Spirits yeah. professional. Just let us know it's for Jimmy, and we'll get to that coming up. Right. See you, Jim. Thank you, Jimmy. Cheers, everybody.